Hey guys, it's Mike from Galaxy S3 Soft Modder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a sleep timer to your favorite music app if it doesn't already have one. Sleep timers are useful if you like falling asleep to music at night. Just play some music and set it to turn off after a certain amount of time so it doesn't play through a whole album or playlist and wear out your speaker. But some music apps have them built in like Pandora and Power Amp. But there are others that don't. Even popular ones like Google Play Music or Spotify don't have sleep timer functions built in yet. So if your favorite music app doesn't come with one, then you can use this app called Sleep Timer. It was created by developer Patrick Booz, also known as P. Booz on Google Play. You can check out our full article in the description for the download link. So to use Sleep Timer, you can either start your music player first or open up Sleep Timer. And here you just set how long you want the timer to be. I'm just going to set it at 30 and if you have the music already playing then you can just press start if you don't then you can go to start and player and you'll see it took me to Google Play Music uh, that's my default music app that I set there your first time using it you'll be given a choice of which app you want to use and it's not just for music apps you can also try it out for audiobooks and podcasts so the timer will start up and you have a notification so if from here you can stop the timer or extend it if you need more time to fall asleep. So it's pretty simple. Once the timer is up, your music will slowly fade out and stop playing. So let's check out some more settings. Let's hit your GS3's menu button, go to settings. Right, uh, music player, you can choose which music player you want to launch. Uh, extension length, how many minutes you want to extend it by. Shake extend is a pretty cool feature if you turn it on. Um, instead of having to use the uh, notification to extend the timer, you can just give your device a shake and it'll extend the timer for you. So you can set the sensitivity here. Um, I recommend not having it too low, otherwise if you like pick up your phone to check a message or something, um, it'll activate it and count as a shake. So I like to have it maybe around a third of the way up. You can have it play a sound so that you know the shake has been activated and set the volume for the sound. And uh, one last setting is on sleep. All right, these are actions that you can automate once your timer hits zero. By default, it pauses the music and closes the app. And you can add other stuff like mute notifications or power off your phone. Some of them may require root though. So if you're rooted, uh, you're all set, all of them should work. If not, some of these may not work for you. So that's it for this video. Once again, the app is called Sleep Timer by Patrick Booz. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full article at Galaxy S3 Softmodder.